and then they will be healthy adult snails and that's what you want welcome to the slime set again and today i'm gonna present you something very cool and interesting how we raise our snails because there are some tricks and i will show them to you what you need and how we do it it's the slime side method all of my snail breeders are using this technique and i will show it to you and also of course everything you need for it is in my shop okay let's go so first we start with this this box here They're, they have a little bit of um, holes do they have holes they should have holes on the side um, anyways, the, the, these small boxes here, I think usually they keep crickets in here. And this we use for breeding. But we're talking right now about Lisa Hatina species, right? Not the really big Aha Hatina ones because they need bigger space. They need actually this box for the first step of breeding. So here you put this. It's called Vermakulit in German or something like that and you spray it with water i mean after you put in the eggs so there you go you put your eggs inside put this vermicolite on top you spray it you put this spangnum moss on top you spray it again it's all about humidity guys it's all about the right humidity you spray here on the inside of the lid and there you go, that's that. Then you wait till they hatch and then they get food. And that's it, pretty simple. A lot of people use gloves when they take out the eggs because some eggs don't hatch if you touch them with your fingers because you have some kind of human bacteria. Some eggs don't hatch after that. If you want to be 100% sure every egg hatches or more eggs hatch then you should use gloves we use spoons here for example but also i'm not a fan of like pampering too much because they are breed for keeping as a pets so they need to be used on human bacteria so i touch the eggs with my hands because i should just uh, the strongest survive anyways so in nature, you know, most of them would die because predators or other animals would eat them, right? But here, I mean, they don't have other animals that eat them. So I'm not a friend of pampering them too much. I think if they, they cannot get along with human bacteria, then they are not very good as pets. So I actually touch the eggs, but it doesn't matter for me if, if 10 out of 100 don't hatch you know what i mean i think it's good that the strongest survive but if you want to be sure you should use gloves or a spoon next step guys so this is how it looks when they hatched oh if you can see them wait a second two seconds later so here they hatched it's lisa ratina fulica that hatched here you can see two three and a bunch of them here it's good to put 15 snails or 20 snails, not too many, in one of these containers, right? And then when they hatched, of course, you give them salad or sweet potato. All the snails, all species eat sweet potatoes and has a lots of good things inside. Then you give them a little bit of crushed eggshells. You see, all what I show you now, we sell as a breeding starter kit in our shop. So you don't need to actually get all that. When they're getting bigger, you need to transfer them into a bigger box. And then we use this box. So in the starter kit, this cocoa fiber comes along. You just water it and it will be the soil of this box. And it's very nice fiber. Look at this. It's so fine. You see, it's, it's so fine. It's very good. We actually import that because in Germany I couldn't find any good one. So you, you will get something like this. This is for water. Put this inside, fill it up with water up to here. And you put a little bit 
of the sphagnum moss inside. You water all that stuff. And we have also calcium carbonate, the right amount, and you put it in and you mix it all together. So this will be the second step that comes after this one. But how do you know when the time is good to transfer from this box into this? Well, if the space gets too small for the snails, it's time to move. You see, they have still a lot of space. They're still very small. So I would say like if they're around this size, maybe. It also depends, of course, how many snails you put in there. But I mean, they should they 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 should need they. You could you do you you want you you could do. They need to move. So if it's too filled, you need to transfer them to the bigger one. And why do we start with these small boxes? We start with them because baby snails are a little bit i mean that's a little bit like human babies they like it tight if you have a newborn baby they will wrap around with this cloth so it feels tightened up that it feels the walls it needs to be small that it's you know that it's not afraid and it's the same with baby snails they develop faster and better without any grow issues if you put them first in the small ones and then the bigger they get the bigger the box will get so with this technique you don't have actually growth problems and for snails the worst thing that could happen is if they are kept wrong on the beginning of their lives it's hard for snails if they grew up wrong to fix it later on so it's better to make it perfect and then they will be healthy adult snails and that's what you want. Okay, guys, I hope this was any helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can always ask in my shop. We have a pop-up chat. You can just ask. Slimeside Professor is there 24-7. He answers every question if you have any. This Slimeside Breeder Kit is also in the shop available. If you want, we ship Europe-wide. Feel free to subscribe. Press the bell and see you next time on a slime set of life. Take care.